DeAndre Ware, one of the most explosive quarterbacks to step foot on an NCAA football field who holds many records, will be suiting up for the Texas Longhorns and going to battle against Wyoming in week one. What's going on guys? As you guys can tell, I'm going to be using Andre Ware in this Heisman Challenge. And he actually turned out to be one of the funnest players I've played with or the funnest quarterback I've played with. Very accurate, very fast, very explosive, very strong, can break tackles, can thread the needle. And he was actually great for Houston, but he actually turned out to be one of the biggest NFL busts. But we're not going to talk about that. We're going to focus on this game right here. If this was Madden... Then maybe we could talk about it and right there. I throw an interception in interception, and that's not a good way to start off the game. I threw an interception before I threw a touchdown, but don't get used to that because Andre Ware does not make another mistake for the remainder of this game. I'm gonna tell you guys that right now. And the reason why you see me taking a lot of contact so far, I don't slide because when you slide, I mean, I can't slide, I dive, and he ends up fumbling, and I go deep to number one I can't remember his last name but that's not the last to him you'll see you'll see him actually a lot in this video because he is a straight up beast and here's the replay you guys can see I stepped back and this offensive line picked up that blitz very well and I find out my guy has one on one coverage but here I throw it to my tight end number 89 Matthews and I'll tell you I really like this group of tight ends and receivers. They all do great. And look at Andre Ware just toss off a defender and make it all the way to the first down. So what I don't like about this team is that they let Wyoming score on their very first drive. And that's not the only scoring they'll do, as you guys are going to see in this video. But X, Matthews, like I said, I like this group of receivers a lot. And he's wide open. They do a great job catching. I don't think there was one drop pass. And don't forget about Goodwin, number 84, as I throw it to him for another touchdown. He's going to run right in. And our defense gets to stop, but they're still going to pin us deep into our own territory. So I'm running out of the pocket with Ware, looking and looking and find Davis, number one, all the way down to the end zone. And right now I'm thinking that I'm in great shape because I have a very – explosive group of wide receivers especially davis like i said he's the beast and that broke the record for the longest pass which i know that isn't accurate because i know there have been longer than 92 yard passes in ncaa but i hit good one on the sideline for a first down trying to score before halftime to increase our lead to 14 but i see O is just be his man and that's davis again wow this guy is a beast so that would be, I think it was his second or third test time of the game. And here you get to see a few of the highlights. Here I am dropping back with just 17 seconds to go in the half and we're trying to get at least a field goal out of this as I get tackled with about 11 seconds to go and we're dropping back again and I hit Matthews the playmaking tight end and he shows so much effort on that play and we're going to reward that effort with a touchdown throw right here.
Here we are into the third quarter after our defense gets the stop and Ware throws off a defender again and that gives him enough time to find Matthews again for yet another touchdown for Matthews and I can't say it enough. I really like this group of tight ends and receivers. They're all doing so great for me right now and I think I'm in good shape for going down the line and when we face those ranked teams but let me not get too excited because this is Wyoming. I'm not sure how good they are but I know they're not ranked and we'll test our true grit uh, when we play against those ranked teams, those top 10 teams. But here we are into later into the third quarter and I'm scrambling, trying to find somebody open and I find Shipley, the Jordan Shipley is the Cincinnati Bengals receiver's brother. So look out for him. He plays a lot like his older brother and I hit Matthews again for a first down and this game is getting ready to come to an end as I beat the record for the Texas Longhorns passing yards and I'm dropping back again because I want a little more and I find McFarlane the other tight end and that's going to be this game. We ended up blowing out Wyoming so that's all I have and I'm going to let you guys look at the rest of the presentation and I'll see you guys in episode 2. So what are your final thoughts on this one, Kurt? Well, they fought this one hard and played with some grit. And while they might not have come away with a W, they've got no reason to hang their heads. Texas didn't necessarily play their best game today. They let them hang around for a little bit more than they would have liked, but it's still a nice win. And for where he gets the award for player of the game.